There's Ollivander's. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me in the Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic. Said you need to have a special wand crafted. That you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is... Something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard.
pay for your deed. You can't hold out forever. Ha ha! Time to see someone over! the wrong place, child. Expulsion! No more happy days for you! Can bring up! Try not to make this stupidly for me. Might want to look up! Stupid 
Stupid. Duck tail. Seems your luck has run out. Confringo. Akio. Stupid one. Still no match for me. Incendio. Off on another adventure, are we? Are you ready to put an end to Halo? 
I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I... I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by... Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Ray. Very well. Here's the note I received. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check that. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I sp <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Come. I know Mr. Hill. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now, it's, but I can't keep it out for much longer. Thank you for telling me. I, I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. 
Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Natty must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Confringo! Revelio! Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Her footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Akira! hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. I'll 
make you wish you were back at school. Potato! Stupid! Not today! Confirm! Defendo! Accu! Bombard! Poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. I'm uh, thrilled to have this back. Who goes there? Oh, someone over there. Defender. Abducted. You spoke with my wife. Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. Understood. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. Revelli must be brought by something. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. Now, you best stand back. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Revelio. Rebellion. 
Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashfinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, they've also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's Wand. I had to defend myself. Godric. He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. Thank you for saying so, Professor. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. 
Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered.
compadre. Yo no hay for us. A dead end. Now what? Rebellion. Revelio. Professor, that wall, that's the way forward. Very perceptive. My young friend. It worked. Let's go. Lumos! Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I feel you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can Lumos. do but keep searching. Listen, more goblins up ahead. What? It's the students! luck so far. Getting closer, Professor. That way. Somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. Scatter this way! We 
shall make quick work of them. Huh? <laughs> they got this.
believe we got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking... What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her, and the others, sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? The Keepers were right. The risk of using this magic is too dangerous. It is my responsibility alone to keep it safe. I understand, but you are not entirely alone. I will do all I can to help you. God. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <coughs> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. <laughs> Stupid 
Professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. Perhaps we should have been remarkable courage, for which we will all be forever identical. Lost Fig. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. That lad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. Sebastian, there's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did, but it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. 
The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This, this can't be. It was the loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. And she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. I have a lot to think about. Let's speak again soon.